Well, the jury of eight men and four women deliberated for not much more than two hours today. They determined that Robert Ritchie was reckless, not only because he didn't check on his son, but because he knew that his son had suffered an injury and still did not check. When the verdict was read by Judge Robert Peeler, Robert Ritchie didn't appear to show much emotion. The verdict is guilty on both counts. The additional finding is that the conduct did result in serious physical harm to the child. It was March of last year when Anna Ritchie held four-year-old Austin Cooper in a bath of scalding hot water as punishment and then put him to bed. Robert Ritchie never checked on him and the next morning found him dead. For Sherry Gredig, Austin's maternal grandmother, today's guilty verdict means justice was served. At least now Austin can rest in peace knowing that both people paid for what they did to him. He admitted on cross-examination that he understood that his child had suffered a significant serious injury, but even armed with that information, he didn't check on his child for 15 hours. But as he told us through the course of the trial, he will accept the verdict. He, he told us directly, if those 12 people think I did something wrong, then I'll be punished for it. Lastly, I asked Sherry Gretick what she and her family will do next. Go visit his grave and tell him that he can rest. It's the only way I can get to see him, except in my pictures and my mind. Robert Ritchie faces 11 years for both of those charges. His sentencing is scheduled for October the 10th. His defense team says they are planning to appeal. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Lebanon.